Welcome, 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 welcome to Mr. Bennett, my channel. This is Mr. Bennett, guys. Please check out my other videos on biochemistry, physics, all right? Um, if this is the first video you are watching, there is 19 more, please. So please check them out, all right? Please ensure you subscribe. Please hit the like button. All right, let's proceed. So number one says negative three square plus negative two square so negative three times negative three plus negative two times negative two right this will give us nine a negative times a negative is positive any number squared for that matter guys all right so our answer would be 13. All right, so this one say eleven point one divided by zero point zero one. All right, so we're going to be converting this zero. 0 0.01 to a natural number, so one, two, right? So that's one now. However, we have to do the same thing for this one. So we're going to add some zeros so we can move two places. So same number of places you move two here, we have to move it two here. So one, two. So this become one, 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 zero divided by one. Any number divided by one is the number, right? Let's move on to number three. The number 3076 written as standard form is, the standard form must be between zero and nine, right? Now the decimal place would be right here. So we're gonna move and here to right here because it must be a single digit. So one, two, Three, so it will be three, three and a half, three point zero seven six times ten to the number of places we move. Now we move three places, right? And that will be positive because if we should multiply three point zero seven six times one thousand, we get this. So it would be to the positive three. So that would be a. Let's move on to number four. Guys, I'm encouraging you, go ahead and try the video. Hit that like button if you're just joining, all right? If 5 and 6 are shading the ratio 2 to 3 to 9, the, the difference between the largest and the smallest share is, all right, so first, we add the ratios, because we want to know the total ratio. So we'll do that first, now. So 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 9 is equal to 14. Let us find the value of the larger share. Now, the larger share would be 10 and the smaller share. So it would be 9 out of the 14. I want to find the total for the larger share times 569. This into this goes 1. This into this goes 4 times 28 and 28. Yeah. All right, so 900 zero, zero, and that 36. So the larger share would be 360, and the smaller share now would be two. Oh, one share is actually 40. So it will be two times 40 for the smaller share. So that gives us 80. So it will be a difference, it says, so it is 360. So let's put that here, so 360. Minus 80, 0, 8, 1, 8, 16, and that 2. So it's 280 would be the difference between the largest and the smallest share. Move on to number 5. In a school, the ratio of number of pupils to the number of teachers 
is 20 to 1. If the number of pupils is 840, how many students, how many teachers are there? So it's 20 to 1 teachers. So it's basically you can say for every 20 students, there's one teacher. Or if I have one teacher, there's 20 students. So if you have 840, you simply divide by 20, right? Twenty does that goes four times. Of the four here, so twenty into forty two. So that is forty two. There are forty students in a class. Just go. Hit the like button if you're just joining, guys. Hit the like button. Share, share, share. There are forty students in a class. Girls make up sixty percent. Of the class, twenty five percent wear glasses. How many girls wear glasses? All right, so there are forty students. So let's find out how many girls are there. So it's sixty percent percent me out of a hundred. So let's find out how many girls are there, and that will be forty. We can see now divide by ten. Yes, yes. So there are 24 girls in the class, but we're not finished. Of that 24 girls, a quarter or 25% of them, right? A 25% is the same thing as a quarter. So I'm going to do it the long way for some persons. Percent mean out of 100. So we find 25% of 24 is the same as a quarter. This into this one, this into this four. Go into that one, go into that six. So our answer would be six. Let's move up to number seven. So far, so good. Let's go, guys. Let's go. I'm going to try the questions as I go along. It's not a Netflix series, all right? A student use a rod to measure the distance 3.6 meter, 5.4, 7.2. What is the greatest length of the rod? If it is 15, let me just go over the command so you guys can see. A student use a rod to measure the distance 3.6, 5.4, and 7.2. What, what was the greatest length of the rod? If it fitted each distance an exact number of times. So what they want us to do is to find the highest common factor Of 36, 54, and 72. That's what they really want us to do. <sighs> One, two, three, four. What we can work? Six, nine, da da da. da. Eighteen. All right, so for 54, one, two, three, six, nine, 54, so six, nine, 18. Oh, I see the answer now. Right? Answer 18. 18 come on to this, 18 come on to this, and 18 can go into 72. So let's see, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 18. Your yeah, mind is 18, so it's 1.8. And I said the greatest, right? You never said the lowest. All right, now for number eight, 201 can be written as, or after this, just to the value, you can make it add up to 301. Can be this, so this will be 10. So we change it on 10. 100 times 3, yeah, so it's B. Let's move on to number eight. Number nine, rather, go ahead and try this one, guys. Negative 
bracket a half raised to the third power is the same as so it's negative Fancy that part here first. So we'll get 1 over 8 and then negative. Oh, and it can be a bit tricky, you know. If the negative was in the bracket, it would be the same because it have negative and negative and negative. So I'm not sure what they try to accomplish here. All right. By the distributive law, 49 times 17 plus 3 times 49. Now 49 is common to both. So we take the 49 and we'll add 17 and that gives us 20. So it is the same as 49 times 20. All right, let's go. So 1, 6 already. If P is equal to ABC, then the number of subsets of P is, all right, so it's three elements. And Find the number of subsets with 2 raised to the number of elements, which is 2 times 2 times 2, which would give us 8. So number 11 would be 8. Let's move on to number 12. Refer to the Venn diagram below. The two circles above represent set P and Q. P is equal to factor of 6 and that is equal to factor of 4. Then the shaded region represents. So let's say P of factors of 6. I did this one earlier. 1, 2, 3, 6. We're going to see what numbers are common. Factors of 1, 2, and 4. So 2 would go right here. And one also. So it's one and two. And this common and this common. Let's move on to number 13. Bet out this one after the one. So that's 13, guys. In the Venn diagram above, the shaded region represents. All right, and it's P prime or not in P. Everything is circle except not in P. Alright, let's move on to 14. That hit that like button if you're just joining. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed, guys. Come on, let's go, let's go. 14. In each of the following Venn diagram is a region A intersect B prime shaded. So let's go. It's not that A. Intersect P, no, not that. Hold on. B prime. So I mean not in B. What can I do? Yep, this is the one. All right, because it means not in B. All right, prime or complement means not. All right, Tom bought a pen for $60 and sold it again 20% on its cost price. How much money did he gain? Based off of all of the answers, it can only be 12, right? So it's 20%, can only be 12. Let me try to find it quick, but it can only be 12 because these are too high for just 20%. This into this, and then this, cancel this, 2, 6, 12. So in other words, he sold it for $72, but he gained, he said gain. And he said sometimes trick students with these words, they swear, say, they must say, how much is sell for no, how much is gain. That's a profit. An article costs 161 if a profit of 30% is to be made and the selling price 
16 dollars is so let's see 16 161 that's the first price yeah, okay so that yeah this is the discharge interest and increase all right i'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this one guys because i've done this this is on basically every paper that i've done so far I haven't checked out the other 20 videos please check them out for exam all right Mr. Duncan bought a table at a discount of 30 percent thus saving 42 dollars what was the mark price of the table now guys if you're going to exam you can use them here and solution of them 30 percent zero if you save 42 all right right let's look at reason it out now Mr. Duncan bought a table at a discount of 30 percent thus saving 42 dollars all right so we don't know what number was there but we do know that 30 percent of the number is actually equal to 42 so if we call the number x and this must be equal to 42 all right so we transpose so x is equal to Four two times one hundred divided by thirty. This time, three into three one. Three into this goes one time left one. Three into that goes fourteen. So fourteen times ten would be one hundred and forty dollars. A television set costs 350 cash when bought an higher purchase a deposit of 35 dollars is made so as we go along guys just just write them for something there. deposit remember you can only use the information right a deposit of 35 dollars followed by 12 month payments of 30 dollars so it's 12 months you have to pay 30 dollars every month all right so multiply this 10 times 12 it'll be 120 120 times 3 or 360 so the total you pay for air purchase that is 395 and if you buy it from cash you get the 350 so we subtract 350 from this that's the difference and we get 45 dollars that's not hard. Hit that like button for Mr. Bennett, guys. Hit that like button. All right. A company employed 12 gardeners at $26 per day and eight clerks at $17 per day. What is the mean of the daily wage in dollars? This might look complicated, but this are the average already, right? So we can just simply say 26 plus 17 we just need the mean of the average for them to and divide it by two and that's all that's our 7642 multiply now by 2 plus all right, guys, we reached number 20 now. Let's go, let's go, let's do, let's do, let's do. Let's move on to 20. If $7,000 is borrowed at a rate of 5% per annum for three years, the simple interest is, so simple interest is equal to the principal, which is the amount of money borrowed, times the rate, which is a percentage that I see here, and time in years. And we know say the rate is gonna be expressed as a percentage, which is it. So 7,000, times the 5% times 3 divided by 100, right? All right, so this done 
this guy, I can't see now, this guy, this guy. So seven, five, seven, 35, so that's 350. 350 by three, it has to be this. And that is I'm gonna throw it I You have to finish multiply. So you guys do that. Once it's 350, definitely that. All right, I'm on taxable. No, 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 no. Read so them can see. Go ahead and try that, guys. Hit the like button, no, hit the like button. A man taxable income is found to be 15,200 pays tax at the rate of 25%. The amount of income tax he pays is, all right, a man taxable income is found to be 15,200 pays tax at the rate of 25%. So we can just divide this by four. All right, I could do it along way. 25% is the same thing as dividing by four. So let's see what we can do. I work it out nice and easy. All right, so one, four. Four into 15, that's what, three. And I have to leave three. So this I will leave eight. Zero, zero. All right, so it's 3,200. Double check that to me, guys. Freestyle, yeah, freestyle, yeah. Freestyle. Hit the like button, peeps. One of these, man. Hit the like button. Man. Item that refers to the toothpaste, which is sold in different tubes. So, 100 milliliter. Or uh, $1.49. $1.50 at $2.25. And this now, $2.50. Get $200. That looks like a good deal, you know. This is what you want to $3.50. Let's run it off, guys. So then here is something. $3.50 to $2.50. I'm going to try to divide now, but we can't make it. All right, if we double this, it will be $3. This is not one good deal. Right, so, so one third. It will be $0.70. Something. Right, that's not one good deal. This. Yeah, man. This may go with $2.50. 200 milliliter. That's what they write here. All right, let's go, let's go. 2x minus 3x, guys, never have a time to say all that. All right, so let us just rewrite this and then we can expand the bracket. And see it, all right? So that will give us negative 3x. And negative that, negative 24. Don't forget the 2x. 2x minus 3x, that's negative x. And then the minus 24, so that will be p. All right, so let's expand the bracket now again. Bracket means multiply, so 5 times x, that's 5x. Plus 5y. Negative 3 times x will be negative 3x, and that will be plus. So negative times that will be plus 3y. So we group the like terms now. So it will be 5x minus 3x and 5y plus 3y. And so we must carry the sign that is in front of it. So this will give us 2x and that will give us 8y. So that will be c. For all for all a and b, 3a plus that 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 is one. All right, so make we expand the bracket again. So 3a times a will give us 3a square. 3 times 2, that's 6. a, b, minus b will give us minus 2a, b, 
and this will give us negative b times negative that's a positive three b square b times b is b square right these are already grouped so it's three a square six a plus that that's four a b i think i did this in a night in another video it's the kind of familiar plus three b square that is when sure that the light like button so let's see where this is to be b for benny all right, let's go, let's go. Hit the like button, hit the like button for Mr. Benny channel, y'all. Right, let me know. Let me see if I can do this. Let me see if I can do this. All right, thank you guys so much. Let's move on to 26. Guys, I'm gonna do this now. Some, some people are teaching video and I'm posting it. So you need it. Like a film video. Now, all this is to get a like start on YouTube. People are trying to see it. All right. If A has to be B is equal to B over A minus 1. I'm gonna put it. This is A. This is B. Guys, that is 28 over 7. Remember the bundles rule, we have to divide first as 4. 7, 4 is 28 minus 1. I don't want to 3, but the answer is 3. Oh, let me scroll down. Let me scroll down. You can choose some of them paper here first. Yeah. Let me start the car. All right, let's move on to 27. When simplified, 4x over 7y plus that is written as, all right, so first we'll find the LCM, which is 35y. All right, this into this will leave 7, 5, 35, so this is 5. So 5, 4 is 20, so that's 20x. 5 into this, 7, so 7, 3 is 21. So we can add this and get 41x or oh, another part of the x. And we have to pass on the video and divide by 35y. Alright, so it's 41. Oh, it's actually a. Yeah, we're going to show that. Twenty-eight. 3 to the x times 3 to the y is equal to which of these? Same base. Same base. So we just add. So it will be this. Very nice question. Yeah. Students have attempted to say 3 times 3 and 9. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to 29. <laughs> If, if 20a minus 16 is equal to that, then a is equal to, this was the algebra here, man. All right, so I'm going to expand the graphic first. So 2a, so I can one check the one here. Now we'll find the answer then. So 12, that's our 36. Remember, guys, I'm not saying so always have to remove the black guy. All right. 2A minus 6. All right. So I keep the A on this side. So it's 2A plus 12A. So we take the inverse, all right? And then we have what, 36 plus 16. So this would be 14a, 2, 1, 2, 12, that's 14, 36 and the door, 52. So it would be 52. Thank you. 
All right, so I see it's two and a half. So it's definitely this. I'll break it down and see if we could um, get it. Three times, no, that's what not right. That's what definitely not right. That's where the arrow went. So three, so three, 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 six. Oh, you know, man, this is so. Oh, this was 20A. Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, guys. These are 20, right? Because I was wondering what's going on. These are 20. This is not 2A. All right, so 20 plus that will give us 33. So it will be 52 over 30. That divided by that our 26 over 16, 13 over 8, so that's your answer. Divide by 2. Sorry, guys, I, I mistakenly put 2A instead of 20. Yeah, bro. Oh, go on. I'm going to reach it. Through the COVID, I'm going to go in it. We have, we have class 11.40. Mm. So I'm going to link you. All right, bro. We stay. All right. So if X is, as in, in, is an integer, which satisfies the inequality, 4 less than X minus 2 less than 8, then the smallest possible value. I'm going to find, I'm going to work out this first, right? So it's 4. All right, so we have to get rid of the minus two here by adding two to each one of these, right? So it's going to be four plus two. And this is going to be equal to ten. All right, let's put it. Let's wait for the answer now. It's there. Then the smallest possible value of x is. So less than or equal to all right. May I go with six? I try to forget everything with the master. Can I share your opinion on that one, guys? Um, the sum of two numbers x and y is 18, and their difference is 14. Which pair of equations below describe the statement above? So the sum of 18. And the difference of what you sum. Uh, it's another. another. Oh, definitely this. All right, let's move on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. See that one you already know. The distance around the edge of a circle of one is that. Hit the right button, now, guys. Hit the right button. All right, so this circumference at 88, and then this at 2 pi. This, this, this command, all three paper that I've done so far. One here behind the other. So that's a bit our radius. Everyone should know that as I'm see it, once you're a part of the channel, you're, you're supposed to see that many times. Thirty share for the circle below of twenty. So the circumference are twenty. Uh, so I'm gonna write that because it can kind of hide it, you know. So this circumference are twenty. 
length of the minor arc AB, so the arc AB, which is this, is just a fraction of the circumference, right? So it's the angle over 360, which is 60 over 360 times the 20, which is the circumference, all right? If I break down this, it comes to one over six. Why am I one over 60? Oh, oh, that's fast. They didn't break it down. They... <laughs> Yo, see, the boss. Come on, the boss. So it's B, all right? Guys, look at the questions very carefully. Even me sometimes. See, I'm tripping sometimes. If the length of a rectangle is doubled by what number must the width be multiplied? You know, I, was, I, I did this a couple of years well, but um, guys, you know, it took me a while to say what would be the answer. This is what I actually did because I wasn't sure. And when you're, when you're in doubt, you can do trial and error. All right, if the length of if the length of a rectangle is doubled by what number must the width be multiplied in order for the area to remain the same? All right, it's actually a half. But guys, this is what I did. Because I wasn't sure, you know. So I just tried two small numbers, right? And I said that the area would be six. And then now, if you double this, you would get six. If you, well, this was actually three. And this three, right? So if I double this, I get six. So I say what what would you, what time six would give me six, right? Because I know it's supposed to be six. And then that would be one. And that is a half of two. That's all that is. But I was so so shocked. All right, let's go, let's go. Much can be tricky now, guys. You have to pay attention to every detail. 35 refer to trapezium below. So this one says now that 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 so it's half a b so it's 12 plus 20 12 plus 8 divided by 2 times 3 right so that's 20 over 2 times three, so that's 10 times three, which is 12. The area of a rectangle is 53.6 centimeters. If the length is multiplied for the width is more up, the area would be more this already, right? So you times this by four and divide by two. Let's do what I'm saying, do what I'm saying. The volume of the cube is, so the 10 times 10, times 10, which is 1,000. Refers to the singer, which is 3 centimeter and I 3 centimeter. The volume, so the volume would be here after this, so that's pi, R square times the height, all right? So what's the, so keep the pi, so it would be three square pi times eight. That's right. So that's nine, nine times eight.
39. If it took a speedboat, dot 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 dot, so it would be 1080 divided by 9. So 9 into this, or 120, I think, is the answer. So this here, 9. Yeah. Can I get the two words? Just... Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We have something else to go. Do, 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 do. The pie chart refers to the drink of a uh, set of group of students. If 12 students prefer chocolate, then the total number of students in the group is. So 12 prefer chocolate. We did this already. This double this. So this is 24. And then this side is 24. This come on all the people that I've seen so far. 24 and 24, that's 48. So students should just be familiar with this. I'll watch the other videos, all right? Guys, I'm encouraging you to watch the other videos. So why am I just kind of breeze through? All right, the median number is, oh, it's arranged in ascending already, so. Let me see, we take three from the side. Yeah. Three from the side, yeah. Now this. All right, one more, one more. So six plus seven divided by two. That's thirteen. So that's six and a half. Halfway between them. All right. If the mean of four numbers, four, eight, and x is ten, then the number is. So if four numbers mean a ten, it simply means the total of forty. As long as 40 can get 10. So it means that them number here for add up to 10. So 4 plus 8 plus 12. We just need to figure out the total to this. So this is about 12 and 12, 24. So how much more we need to make 40? So it's 40 minus 24. I did this one on the other paper, so it's 105 and 4. Guys, just enter your go back to the other video where I explained it. All right, 750 and you got this. All right. For the four, hit the like button, I'm gonna hit the like button. A bag contains four red balls and five blue balls. A ball is picked, oh, four balls, four red balls and five. A ball is picked at random from the bag and it's found to be red. It is not replaced. What's the problem here? The next ball will be taken randomly from the bag will be blue. All right, so my question what I'm gonna say. So let me say now, four red, you could just write that information there so we have it in front of it. Four red, five blue. My ball is picked running from the bag and it's found to be red. It's not replaced and it's all ready. So you pick one random. Alright, so one red. So we take out a red. So it's not replaced, so we now have three red. And five blue. So after the drawing, uh, let me see now. What is the purpose that yeah, the next ball will be taken randomly from the ball will be blue? All right. So now blue of five, and we have a total of eight. So it's five out of eight. Nice question. Good job, CC. Good job. 45 refers to the content of the following table, which shows the results of a survey of 100 households conducted by Form 5 students to determine the number of children in each household. The probability that the house visited at random will contain exactly four children is. Alright, so four children. Alright, so this is our frequency. And this is our 
children so right so what it means is that eight wounds of four children in here right No, no, four owns of eight children. Okay, it's, it's not, it's not a sentence. All right, all right. Very sure that one day also. The frequency to come to one and the five and fifteen. That, that, that. All right, what's the probability that the home visited at a random will contain exactly eight four children? Okay, so eight. It shouldn't be 32 there. No, at home, so it'll be eight out of only. So that would be B. We'll never break it down. All right, which of the following mapping from set A to set B is a function from set A to set B. This can be a function because one X I got to more than one Y. So that we are looking for. One X I got to just one Y. So now come exit. No cheating. All right, boom. B I got to this and it I got to this. Can be that. All right. 1x to 1y. This could be, you know, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah, that is definitely C. Even though it I got to this, this would be our answer. 1x to 1y, see there? All right, number 47, which graph below represent the fu a function? Which two graph below represent functions? Oh, you must combine them. All right, we'll just look, identify the two functions first. All right, so we can eliminate this. And we can eliminate this. That's it there for the line test. So it's a three and four. Three and four. So that's E. All right, let's move on to forty nine. No, not forty nine, forty eight. All right, if h of x is equal to 3x minus 2 divided by 5, then h negative 6. All right, let's have put it in 19. I thought we're not time to minus 6 minus 2 upon 5. So 3 6s, 18 minus 2 upon 5, right? So that would be negative 20. Upon five, so that's negative four. All right, guys, you're almost at the end. Hit the like button, please. 49. The diagram below shows a graph ABC, a positive constant. The equation of A could be positive. So let's turn up the anti parabola. All right, let's move on. We've done some of these already, you know, guys. So. Uh, so, so this is x1, y1, and this are two. So, right. X1. All right, so the pair is a chat in this video. Okay. The diagram above shows the line P2, the gradient of the line P2 could be, so I could just say, Y1 minus Y2. Zero not a them two things. Either E 
minus b upon c minus e or I'm trying to get away. Let's see if I'm trying to get away. So, you there trying to get away, which is uh, what are they? What are they? Y2 minus Y1 or Y1. So that would be B minus E upon E minus C. So it's either one out of them two options. Here. Let me just go down now. B minus E, C minus E now. C minus E. B minus e. Nope. B minus E. Oh, so that's D. All right, you can set them a little bit tricky sometimes. Right, let's move on to 51. Which one of the graph below? The graph of the inequality of the diagram above is defined by. All right, so guess what? You see this? This indicates that it's equal. All right, so we're looking for the one with equal, plus and equal to three. All right, so this definitely this, and the one this open is less than, so yeah, it's A. So on to 52, X is in the figure above A, B, C, and C, D are parallel which of the following set describe the relationship. X is equal to Y, all right? Alternate angles are Z angles. 53, the ABC above is the right angle at C, yeah, the length of BC in centimeter E. So we are looking at this side, so it will be opposite adjacent. So it's tan, opposite adjacent. I'm going to write it out for the alcohol. I'm too done with it. All right, so it's tan 40. Equal 20 from BC. So it would be BC equal 20 upon tan 40. All right, so I'm satisfied now. I need to call it for use and in a work code. So this would be B. Fifty four to fifty five refer to this, I guess. The point A two negative three is rotated in origin through the angle of ninety degrees in the clockwise direction. What are the coordinates of the new image of so the point A, which is 2, 3, which is this, is rotated 90 anti-clockwise. So it's about far up here, so now. Let's see what So it would be three two. All right, so fifty five. This is fifty five here. The transformation that map triangle element and to PQR is is it a rotation to 180 degrees? No, more than just a rotation. I realize that, right? It's also one enlargement, right? This one is D. Enlargement to the origin. And rotate. All right, so. 56 refers to the following graph shows the point A 
coordinate of the point, image of the under reflection in the y axis, y axis, y axis. So right this way. So a negative four three. Negative four three minus like O D. I'm super tired already. Right, let's go, guys. Let's go to the end. Let's go to the end, right? 57. In the figure above, the line CD is the image of AB. Da, 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 da. A rotation to that now. It's like a reflection. Man. Reflection on the Y axis. Alright, so 57 OG. Yeah. 58. How many triangles congruent to ABD would or oh, right. it's an annexed page? Annex one. Let us go. So basically what we did you now is just right and then one, two. I do you see anything for this one? No, right, no, 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 no. And then one, two, and then this are one also. So this are one, two, three, four, five, six. It's almost knowledge base. Then say mathematical calculation, but nevertheless, very important question. 59 in the right angle above, not drawn to scale. Q is equal to 90, P is equal to 50, PR 130, and RX equal 3 centimeters. Tan PRQ is equal to so tan PRQ. So we're looking from this angle, right? Tan would be opposite, which is this. And this is what you will see. All right, so it will be 50 upon x. Let me see if that is here as an option. Hit the right button, guys. Hit the right button. And 60, our final one. Oh, final one. In the figure above, ABC is a triangle in which AB equals AB equals BB and CD. The angle of ABC is. Oh, there's a figure above. I was wondering what the hell they talking about. All right. In the figure above, ABC is a triangle in which AB. Let me see this now. AB equals AB. Obviously, isosceles. All right. And CD, so CD equals also. All right, so this put us match it up right away. This are 50. So. Isosceles base angles, so this here 100. So it means that this should be 80, right? This angles are a straight line, add up to 180. So this should be 100. These two are equal, so this should be 40. And this should be 40. And then so the angle ABC, ABC, so it's the entire angle, which is 40 plus the 50 is equal to 90 degrees. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please ensure that you watch the rest of the video. This is Mr. Benny. Come out. Hit the like button, guys. And if you have not subscribed, please do so now. Come out. No doubt. Thank you.